For days, we've watched the heartbreaking images, people desperate to leave Afghanistan following the Taliban takeover. But at CBS2, we go beyond the headlines. Welcome back. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Brad Edwards, a suburban family desperate to bring their son, a Navy veteran, kidnapped in Kabul more than a year ago. His father speaking to CBS2's Charlie DeMar. Freedom is not free, reads the marquee outside Art Frerich's auto repair shop in Lombard. His son Mark Frerich, a Navy veteran, has certainly paid the price. Do you feel in some ways that the U.S. is leaving your son behind, a veteran behind? Yes. That's got to hurt. Well, it does, and it bothers me very much. Mark, a civil engineer, has been living and working in Afghanistan for over a decade. He was kidnapped in Kabul in January 2020 after going to a meeting. Now with the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan and the Taliban's seemingly swift rise to power, the Frerichs are frantically pushing for Mark's return. I mean, it's total chaos over there, much less, you know, somebody getting in there and finding my son. United States Senators Tammy Duckworth and Dick Durbin wrote President Biden today, urging him to prioritize Mark's safe return. The senators say Mark is possibly the only U.S. citizen being held hostage. The priority is Mark Freerichs, who is from Illinois, who's been held by the Taliban for well over a year. Uh, we need to get him home. And back at home, Mark's dad is counting on lawmakers to keep their word and return his boy. But it seems like the politicians don't get anything done unless it's last minute. What is the biggest concern for you right now? Getting him back. It's over an ongoing here. saga. Now, Art tells us that his daughter has been in D.C. all this week, meeting with several government agencies, including the National Security Council, urging them to bring Mark home. We are live tonight in the Streetside studio. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Brad. Charlie, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but obviously it's kind of been an open-ended wish for them for so long. Now it is immediate. It needs to happen now. Are there odds on this thing? Are they going to get him back? I asked Art, uh, Mark's dad, you know, is he still hopeful? And he said he's putting his hope in these lawmakers. He specifically mentioned Senator Tammy Duckworth and said that he's calling on these politicians that if they don't do anything, Mark likely or might not ever come home. Okay, calling on a veteran to help out. Thanks, Art Charlie DeMar.